This version is a compilation of important teaching topics that will be expanded in separate modules. I was unexpectedly asked to take on the role of president in a dying department. And it was the last thing that anyone wanted, and it was a broken department. The leadership was broken, the member body was broken, it was full of toxic alliances, a lot of stubborn distance, and to be honest with you, more than all of those superficial uh, definitions, it was really a lot of misunderstanding among the people that I really believed were good people down deep. They were hurt, broken, distant, isolated, and felt like they were not appreciated. Any of that sound familiar? But, uh, you know, deep down, I believe that all of these internal issues really were just a smoke from a long uh, fire that had been raging beneath it. And so I took on that role and uh, being completely unprepared for it, I'd never been in leadership at all within the fire service. I had in other places, but I took it on and I really believed in speaking life and purpose and vision over it. Even speaking vision into the unknown, which in this moment, that's all we have, it seems like, anymore as a volunteer body. But I started with a message that everyone, regardless of their age, their experience, their ideas, they all had intrinsic value as a person first, and then also as a public servant, and that no one was my personal enemy, even when we were at odds on greater issues for the greater good. And that, along with my professional experience in broadcast video and digital marketing, I began to implement a marketing campaign that over two years was actually really successful. And we actually did it. We went from a small body of about 14 people who were active in that moment uh, up to 42 when I left two years later. And, you know, it was one of these situations where uh, people knew they were appreciated when even it was awkward for me to tell them that. Uh, people knew that their ideas were welcome, even when they weren't the best ideas. And even the quiet members began to flourish a little bit with new thinking and maybe we could try something different. And, you know, none of this was, none of this was a, a situation where we all knew that somehow everything was going to be great and the grass was now turning greener and flowers were popping up and why all the great problems have, have been dealt with. We still knew there was an immense amount of pressure externally on so many other levels. We didn't know what our future would look like. But one thing I knew for the time that I was there, that while we were there, we were going to speak life over our department. We were going to believe for the best and we were all in to where we were all out. And it really began to flourish. And the same people who would mock my silly understanding of Robert's rules because I had no idea really how to do that when it all began. Months later, we're now laughing together as a family after the meetings. It was amazing to me to see people who would argue and find anything to have an issue with actually enjoying each other's company. And you see, that's why I'm doing this series. I know I'm the outlier. Uh, for the training that has been done to date in the fire service. I know I'm the one that could easily be described as the Dr. Phil uh, type, wanting to get soft and cuddly, and it's all about empathy and understanding and all these things. Listen, we all know that we've signed up for the duty of the public because we have to be there when the 911 tones drop and we have to be prepared. But I'm telling you this, if we're not prepared in terms of how we relate to each other, we can't come together in unity as leaders to figure out the best solutions to the problems we face. We can't figure out how to use modern tactics in recruiting and begin taking it more serious than we ever have. And we certainly will not survive if we stay in the mode we've been in for so many years because we do the same exact things we've done over and over and over. And yet what happens? We're not seeing any results. And you know why? It's because the times have changed, but we haven't. Change is a decision based on what no longer works. It is a courageous direction based on truth and wisdom.